All right, everybody, welcome. <laughs> we are doing Abomination and Pirates Only again. So that means you can only use this guy at tier four and this guy at tier four. Um, you can have you know either or, so you can have as many of these and as many of those, but please only those. You are allowed slots as well if you find them. All food is allowed, anything goes in the shop phase, etc. I can't remember what else I normally say. But yeah, I also don't know what the strat is. What sort of combo would I be looking for? Like just this? <laughs> just freeze that. All right, let's be the glistening celebrities. And I actually might have had enough. I don't know, did I have enough gold to buy all that? Because I could have just done it this turn maybe and tried to find the early guinea pig. Because that's definitely what I want to find soon. And same only would be fun with the unicorn pack. We actually did start the lobby uh, with the unicorn pack. Oh, we found it. <laughs> Can't buy it this turn. Or rather, like, I wouldn't because I need to find like three of these. And uh, wait until later, but yeah, this is nice. But yeah, same only with the Unicorn pack. We did start a lobby for that, and then someone pointed out that it's just going to be Axe and Hounds all the time. Which, yeah. <laughs> I decided to back out of that one. When he gets to clone already. Alright, show me more guinea pigs. Please. Okay, well, <laughs> fair enough. I got lucky just to get this one. And let's have a little check. Hopefully people have dumped their stuff. Apple cat, sell. Okay, well this person left, but... Yeah, I see, I can't tell if this stuff happens because they see me freezing random things. Because I feel like that happens a lot, where I freeze stuff for a combination, and then the next turn you see a load of people that are cheating with the things that I had frozen. Okay. Yes. One more. One more, please. Show me. No. <laughs> okay, now I need to decide whether I am going for the third one or not. Like, having one combo is very nice. If I find one more, then I can have a third. And someone has a sloth! Annie, congratulations. I wish you all the sloth luck and everything in the world. Yeah, have a good run. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take one turn rolling, I think. I may buy avocados as they show up, but... Oh, never mind! <laughs> We've been blessed, okay. Alright, so there's something. We did not find anything useful. Oh, and then we find both! I can only buy one, but... It's nice that they're there. Alright, so we buy you, because you're the most important. I could either eat a skunk, but I'd almost prefer it to eat a robin. So yeah, I'm gonna freeze that. We have a pill. Um, I could give it gingerbreads, but that doesn't really make any sense. Don't want more guinea pigs. Stoat. I could freeze stoat. <clears throat> ah, my voice. I could freeze stoat for tier 4. <clears throat> Help, I'm actually dying. <laughs> uh. Aha. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I think the, the Robin was a decent get if you have nothing on your team. I'm definitely doing this. And I'm going to keep the Stoat frozen because, yeah, it's going to be a good buy-sell for later. I don't want to freeze any of this. Alright, freeze another Robin, that's fine. And... Cherry? Have a summon, maybe? It's better than nothing. I didn't find any avocados, so sure. Let's just do that. I didn't actually need to freeze it because I didn't roll anymore, but it's fine. Safe. Good. Okay, so I'm hoping Stoat turns into something useful. We're definitely going to be Doom rolling a bit here. And... Oh, a level. I don't think this is actually that good because I don't want to freeze anything. And I'm, I'm just going to leave these. I need to try really hard to try and find extra stuff, and we did. <laughs> Mandrake. Mandrake's not going to do anything. I will, I will freeze the rock because at least Parrot's doing it onto the Abomination. That's a decent snipe. And the eel's the next thing we eat, and we have another parrot, which is beautiful. And you know what? I'm going to buy a broccoli as well, because we're going to need to separate the HP on these. So this is already looking pretty good. Stream luck is crazy. Yeah, I haven't had an Abomination game start this well yet. Like, we've done this four times maybe now, and this is by far the best I've had. <laughs> Alright, I am ready. Obviously, I could get screwed if I don't roll into good things to copy, but yeah. All right, so through that there, I think potato will be useful, and 
I think Hulk is pretty good, but it depends what people are leaving their teams. Yeah, I don't know. If someone has a really empty team, then I may just miss completely. I'm going to run it like that. <laughs> oh, a rock as well. That's that's great. Okay, so we're eating the Hawk and the Rock. I think we are very okay. All right, and yeah, you copy first, and then you. So just as a reminder, guys, if you're doing parrot chains with these things, you want um, heist attack at the front because you need this thing to trigger to get abilities, and then you need the parrots to like copy this and then each other. So yeah, if I had my heist attack parrot at the back, then it would copy this parrot before it has an ability to copy. So yeah, be careful with that. I hit things. I had good hawk positioning. <laughs> Hooray. All right. Uh, yeah, we're buying this. We, we want stats. I think a banana is also going to be very useful, so I'm going to buy one of those. And I don't know, I could have a red dragon, but I don't really want to. Definitely don't want a woodpecker. All right, you're great. We definitely want this. Uh, it's daytime, right? Yeah, Terminator is even. So yeah, that's not going to work. Lion actually won't eat either. <laughs> Let's roll, hopefully find something better. Yeah, dolphin's fine. All right, I'm happy enough with that. So yeah, we eat those two. That's going to be a lot of good snipes. I could, like, change my positioning in case other people are running or, you know, eating hawks. But I can't be bothered. Yeah, there's lots of people running multiple abominations. So I, I can maybe do that as well. Like, until I find more parrots, it's not, like, a terrible thing. It has less um, attack, so I don't need to worry as much about this eating something good. You <laughs> just ate a panda. That looked really bad for a second, but it didn't look like they had very good abilities. Okay, no point by something stoat. Lemon's pretty good. Yeah, it's probably an improvement for you. Um, I'm actually going to leave it though. Oh, <laughs> uh, do I want the red dragons? Hold on, if we eat like two red dragons, because that'd be you, then we're going to have like six crisp. That is too much, but it's not like that much too much. I don't think I want to eat an armadillo, because it's just going to... Hmm. Do I want to eat an armadillo? If they snipe us, then it's going to ruin me. No, let's roll for other things. Don't want that. My chocolate's fine. Don't really care about a bun. Yep. Oh, no. No, wait, that's fine. That's just one of those two. So yeah, one of these is just going to explode, and the other one gets nothing. But, yeah. <laughs> so it's still okay. It wasn't an amazing turn of eating stuff, though. Hoping that, like, six damage and everything is enough. And it looks like it is. Probably. Yeah, they didn't snipe me or anything, so we're fine. Good. Alright, do I just, like, level one of my abominations, or do I go for the parrot? Stego is huge. I'm just gonna level a parrot. Like, <laughs> let's just get that out of the way immediately. Um, freeze tapper, don't mind that. Do not touch swordfish. I don't really want a cockatrice either. Do I freeze all of this? Like, we're going to be eating four things. And these aren't bad things to eat. So, yeah, you're going to eat the Spinosaurus and the... Wait, Stegosaurus and the Red Dragon, and then you guys are going to have, like, an eel and a bat. The eel isn't incredible. We maybe roll once to see if we do find something better than we did. <laughs> yeah, this is still fine, then. And if I roll into any pills soon, then this guy can have it. Alright, so this is going to be a very strong turn unless these things die before we can get the stegos to pop. Which I probably should have repositioned for better order then. Nah, we still got it. Look at that. 40-40. <laughs> Actually just not a fight. You killed Sloth? Wait, are they like out-out? Oh no. I could get this to level 3, but I, I prefer the parrots. Please show me a pill. I will freeze these again. I can get more bananas, but I'm liking the other stuff that's showing up. Um, melon is just better. It already has equipment, so I might, might as well give it better equipment. And I don't know, we can, we can copy a cockatrice. Yeah. Okay, so this guy is going to turn into a Tsuchinoko and then jump to the front, which is hilarious. <laughs> it's not exactly useful, but yeah. 
All right. So Sloth is dead, apparently. Wait. Okay, no, they're not dead, but we do have another one. Scorsi, <laughs> congratulations on your Sloth as well. There is a dead Sloth. What is happening? There's three Sloths in the lobby. One of them is dead, though. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Do I have the coffee guy in the pack, Aglifish? Because if I do, that's great news. I, I lose. Damn. I think Anglerfish is responsible. Mmm. That would make sense. Okay, so I could level this. I definitely want... Oh, I want a lot of this, though. Okay, so gingerbreading the parrot also makes sense. Hold on. Look, I think I'm going to level this, because at least it shows me some tier 6s, and honestly, those are just fine things to copy. And then I'm going to buy sell this. Um, I think I am going to risk just putting this on the parrot. So then they're going to eat like mantis shrimp, leopard, and lion, which is very strong. I'd say don't bother, but actually no, let's roll for chocolate and a pill. Eh. <laughs> okay, we found the pill. Good. Okay, that better turn into a tapir. Otherwise I'm gonna be upset. Okay, so just don't completely destroy my team, and then I'm probably okay. What does leveling the parrot do in this case? So a level 3 Abomination can eat three things and, you know, do those abilities at level 1. But having high level parrots copies all of those abilities, but also levels up the abilities. So, um, yeah, let's say I ate like a crocodile, a leopard, and a frog, whatever. Um, then a level 3 parrot behind it will have all of those abilities at level 3, which is obviously very good. And yeah, we're doing this. I guess the stats a little bit more closer to being annoying, but... Okay, white tiger is always amazing. Didn't mess up anything there, good. And all of that is great, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So let's just do that. I really do need to find another parrot because Stego is one of the best abilities to copy here. And, oh, oh, that's bad, wait. Okay, never mind. I have screwed up this turn. I need to get this thing less attacked than the abomination. Oh, I think we would have lost to this anyway, actually. Yeah, that's a very big team. Okay, good things to copy. Uh, I really need more parrots, but I don't know whether it's worth the risk. Because if it turns into Abomination, then it's really, really not good. And yeah, I actually should just be buying these. Okay, so that's fixed at least. Maybe I copy this one as well, I guess, while I'm rolling. Okay, please. Please, parrot. No. <laughs> Okay, I can hold on to it at least, but yeah, it's not what I wanted. And now he's just going to eat the Stego, which doesn't even do anything. Yeah, because these this guy eats these three, and then this one eats the Stego, but then there's nothing without equipment for it to buff. So Stego is just going to get wasted. A shame, but nothing I can do, sadly. Oh. Yeah, this is another one. <laughs> Okay, another sloth. Nice. It is now dead. I am very sorry. Another sloth to the graveyard. <laughs> okay, crocodile. Good. Uh, that put pretty good. And honestly, I'm just going to level one of the parrots, I think. I'll try to a little bit. Obviously, if I do that, it breaks again. So we're just going to start on this. Oh, can't buy that one. And I don't know. I'm looking at macaque, and it might actually not be too bad. If I sell this, then it's actually pretty good, because then we can summon a, a larger one from this one. You know what? Let's do that. Okay. Sell this. Do that. So now you eat all three of these. Um, You're going to summon a 12-12. This one's going to summon a 24-24, which is very nice and a lot stronger than if we had another guy at the back eating, like, nothing. So, yeah, we still just need to find more of these, more parrots. I have high-level dudes, but I need more of them. This isn't an abomination game, it's a sloth poaching game. It actually feels like it. Oh my god, the popcorn. Here come the snipes. We're safe. We're safe. That looked really bad for a second, but they didn't have many snipes. Uh, roll it. I don't want any of this. We could copy you, but I really want to find more parrots. 
Oh, pirates, thank you. <laughs> okay, Highland Cow isn't that impressive, but it is something, so I'll freeze that. Gonna leave those if I roll into actual stuff, I'd prefer that. If I get Stego, it's all gonna hit this, but that might be fine. It's gonna be very big anyway. Yeah, okay, we'll send it that way then. So yeah, Gingerbread would be useful on this one, but I'd rather just get actual levels and then I can, you know, have protective equipment or summons. I think the popcorn makes the most sense, because if everyone's running, like, insane sniper squads, then having something pop up at the end is going to be helpful. He lived. Good. I was really worried this was just going to insta-die and then we wouldn't get any stego off. Not that it made a difference, like, he didn't get to fight. Yo. Okay. Hold on, is there... Yeah, this is popcorn. I don't need to buy the cornucopias yet. So, let's level you. And... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, level 3 there and level 3 there, because it's going to get one from each of these, I believe. Uh, so yeah, that's just amazing. Yeah, we can just hold on to all these then. Show me a parrot. I don't care if it doesn't work, because it's now, like, in the chain. And I'm rolling this again. There we go. And then we can use these next turn! Yes, great. Okay, so this turn, he's White Tiger, Leopard, Stego. Everything's gonna be level 3. They're all gonna be doing, like, pretty big snipes, and these two are gonna grow a lot, assuming they don't insta-die. Copied Woodpecker, you're dumb. <laughs> nah, it's not too bad if you don't have a lot of things. If you do have a lot of things, it's definitely gonna feel a lot worse. And yeah, here comes all the greenness. Two 50-50s. Solid, okay. I need to have another look through the pack soon, actually, just to see how many people are running like, sloths, if there's any survivors there. So, stagger these, so now that's going to work properly. Um, I could combine or something, or buy other equipment, but I'd rather not. Okay, risk buying this. If it breaks it, I can buy the apple. Yeah, it didn't break anything, so that's fine. You know, this is still more than that, and that's still more than that, so I'm just going to keep rolling. Hmm? Coffee's this. Maybe. I really don't know. I want to not buy gingerbread because I need stego targets. Having like a couple of things without any equipment is just good. I do wish I could leave them further forward though. Anyway, Mael has a sloth. <laughs> Congratulations. Dominator, nice sloth. And then, what? There's one here. I think that might be the one I killed. Another one there. There's three on this team. I think that was the original one as well. Another one down here. <laughs> Actually everywhere. It's a plague. Alright. Look at it. Mana everywhere. Amazing. Okay. Can you get achievements in lobbies? You can get the stickers, but you can't get them... Um, whatever the other thing is. I'm not risking a tap here, or the blobfish or anything. Alright, let's do this. I still don't know about popcorn either. It really depends if I find um, stegos or not. Maybe by one? I do, I do feel like I need more summons, because this team is not going to survive against a similar team that gets like even a single like crocodile <laughs> mantis. So sure, let's buy one of these, because you're pretty likely to die anyway. I like this, I don't like the rest so much. You're always amazing. Can't use crow. Amadillo doesn't, Amadillo doesn't feel right, so I'm going to roll once more, and if it shows me a swordfish or something, then we just tank it. Alright, that's not too bad. Like, this is going to be complete overkill, because we're going to be giving them, like, 20 crisp? Something dumb like that? Which we will obviously not need, and it's just going to get, like, wasted. Oh, I mean, it's going to remove their popcorn, which is kind of big. Look at the mana. <laughs> Okay, well, it's going to be a draw, I think, because everything is dying. Yeah. Okay, we take that. Popcorn better than banana. Um, It's going to be something from tier 4, so it depends on the stat line on these things. For the most part, no. Yeah, maybe banana's better. It's pretty, like, the same. <laughs> Alright, so I could combine there and then almost definitely get another parrot. So I think I will, because I can also get the extra chocolate from this. So let's do that. Um, hold on. Careful here. So I don't need either of these. I definitely don't want to copy this. Alright, another parrot out. 
and we've rolled into amazing stuff already. I can put this here without it breaking anything, but I do need to be careful. Alright, just, just leave all of that. Okay. It's just all getting replaced, my summons! Unless I can kill everything, I might... Actually, I think I do kill everything, so yeah, I'm probably fine. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, like Crocodile and Mantis Shrimp, but also everything was level 3 because the White Tiger. So yeah, that's that's fine. Don't want any of this. We roll it. My team's not that big. I don't know if I want a Highland Cow. Hmm. Roll. Alright, if I do this, then we have problems. I could put it on one of these ones. Like, we can try to get you leveled up, maybe? And honestly, maybe I do just buy another popcorn, but I think we roll for um, better abilities first. And yeah, like, I don't know if I'm going to find something better. Leopard, fine. Okay, that's not too bad. Things are still working. If I find an apple, I may just buy that, because I really want to get this thing leveled up, but I can't do that without increasing this thing's attack first. I like how it's amazing. It might be overkill. I know it depends on like the amount of HP my things have, but... Yeah. Oh. It's a clone, but they do have a sloth. <laughs> How's this looking? They have a 50-50. Oh. I'm gonna lose. Okay. I miss Axe Hound or Hound. You're right. You're right. Uh, okay, throw this on here. Oh, stop. I'm doing it. There's no way I don't continue the chain. Okay, <laughs> I'm stacking this, and I'm going to try and steal this slot. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> Sloth acquired. Keep it going. Um, I can freeze both of these, and I actually can do that next turn. But I need to keep rolling into potential good things. That's not it. You are pretty good. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't love the cockatrice because we it don't it doesn't do anything if you turn something into a rock like four times. You missed hounds. No, I thought about it, but would it actually be that amazing? I'd rather like snipers and stuff. Their team's self exploding. But they're gonna summon a 50-50. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, not surprised that I died, but I died with a sloth, and that's definitely the best way to go out. <laughs> Alright, well, GG's. GG's, good game.